Sheldrick, there are some Hurricanes fans who say, well, this program, as dominant as they've been, should never lose against unranked teams. Do you agree with that, or do you look at it as the team we lost to is a decent team, so it's understandable that we lost? I mean, I won't say it's understandable, but, you know, they're a D1 program just how we're a D1 program. You know, they, they come out and practice just how we practice. You know, game, any given Sunday, you know, it, it wasn't the way that we expected to go, but, you know, it's football that happens sometimes. What was this bye week like for you guys to have to sit on that loss? I mean, you know, we like I said, you know, it's the next week. You know, as soon as we caught in there, you know, it was a little downtime. But, you know, coming on to the next week, well, this week now, you know, we had to forget about it, you know, on to the next opponent. There's nothing we could sit around, you know, and just mope the rest of the season. You know, it's another, we got another opportunity this week. You know, we just got to take advantage of it. Did you watch any games this weekend or you turned it off? Oh, yeah, I, I sat sat down all week um, on the, like, the little Roku, just switching between games. You know, I was watching D1 games, D2 games, all type of football. Is there scouting Duke and other teams too? You say what? Did you scout Duke or any other Yeah, I was looking football? at other teams. What was your biggest takeaway or what were you really watching the most? I mean, you know, I was really just watching the game, you know, seeing the floor game. You know, it's just a, you know, college football, you know, it's evolving. It's a lot of different type of offenses, you know. You got from Georgia Tech to the wing T to, you know, out west teams, you know, who run a variety of spread and all that type of stuff. You know, it's just, I wasn't really watching nobody to, you know, get a beat on them yet, but, you know, I was really just watching football. You know, I just like football, just watching it. I guess you weren't surprised at what Virginia did then when they went into Duke and beat them pretty good. Oh, no, nah, you know, they're a good team, you know. Both, you know, both of them real good teams. So, you know, they went in, you know, good environment and Duke, you know, just handle business. You know? What do you have to do uh, against A.J. Dillon this week? Uh, just tackle him. Biggest thing. You know, he's a big bat, you know, strong person. You know, biggest thing, just tackle And And their offensive line, I guess, is one of the biggest ones you've seen? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to the offensive line, but, you know, I, I guess, you know, but, you know, it ain't about who they are, you know, it's about what we do. Does AJ compare to anybody you faced over your career? Uh, nah, you know, I don't really get into the, you know, the hype too much. You know, he's he just another running back. You know, he's a good back. You know, I've I seen all the accolades and stuff he had. But, you know, it's just about tackling and getting him on the ground not, and preventing big plays. I think it's playing style because he's a big back that you don't really see. I want to invest in power and that kind of thing. I mean, nah, I don't really, I don't really see like faces. You know, I just, I just play. You know, when I'm out there, it's just, you know, if it's, it's, could have been Jerome Betters, you know, Refrigerator Perry, you know, we just get him on the ground. You know, we got to wrap his legs. We come out here tackle every Tuesday and Wednesday. You know, we t when we take the uh, tackling out, we doing practice to the game. You know, we are gonna get him on the ground. You're so young. What do you know about Refrigerator Perry? Oh, I'm, you know, I, I know a lot. I, I used to watch Stump the Swab all the time when I was younger. You know, back in like 05, 04, you know that type of stuff. I'm a football guy, you know, so I just watch a lot of. You know, I love know a lot of football. Sheldrick, obviously, the, the offense has had a little bit of struggles, especially last week against Virginia. How much are you guys there trying to pick them up in practices and encourage them and, and remind them that, that you've got their backs while they're trying to figure some things out? Well, always, you know, it's always, you know, try to uplift the whole team. You know, they, you know, everybody, everybody could get better. You know, there's no, no unit on this team that's perfect, you know, and you understand that, you know, it's a game of football. Sometimes it go your way, sometimes it's not. You know, it's never 100% going to go your way. So, you know, I'm constantly trying to pick everybody up, you know, from the young guys who are still struggling to find stuff out, you know, so it's not just on them, you know, it's as a, as a team, as a whole, you know, we got to build together. And when an offense is struggling in general, not specifically, you know, mm -hmm. talking about this guy, is there more pressure sometimes as a defense to perform just to show them you have their backs and if, if they're trying to figure something out? Oh, no, especially not with us, you know, I don't feel no, pr we don't feel no pressure at all. You know, you know, if we have a sudden change, you know, if our offense turn the ball over or something, you know, the defense, we crowd around, you know, all I see is smiles in the huddle. You know, Coach Diaz, you know, he's clapping, he's happy, you know, because it's another chance for us to go out there and prove, you know, why we why we the best. Even if you guys Last are question. privately frustrated by the offense not playing up to potential, does either Coach Diaz or Coach Rick ever have to say, don't say that publicly? Nah, you know, we don't have nobody on our team who's going to come out and, you know, and say something crazy during interviews, and, you know, it, it, it's nothing that, you know, we don't throw nobody under the bus, no singular person, you know, we, we understand we lost that game collectively, you know, as a team, and we're going to take it as a team. Thanks, Red. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.